Welcome back. I want to uh, thank the Ryder Clinic for sponsoring our Recruit of the Week. And our Recruit of the Week is our guest, Joseph Evans from Haynesville. Um, not ranked heavily. I don't, I don't get into these rankings. You know, I just go by watching a kid play and saying, his upside's LSU. Or, you know, his upside's uh, lower D1, 1AA, D2, D3, junior college, prep school, needs a red shirt, that kind of thing. But Joseph is a kid that brings it every play, played OD line the whole game. Started both sides of the ball for, I want to say, five years, right? Uh, four. Four. But in your program, they'll even start eighth grade. Yeah, yeah. But as a ninth grader, you're starting every play of the game yeah. week one. Yeah. What's that like? I mean, it, the good thing is it keeps you in shape for yeah. a big guy. Yeah, it does. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. And now you, you feel like you about to give up, but you know you got to keep on going. You get used to it. Though, yeah, huh? yeah, you get used to it. You get used to it, too. But I noticed seeing you as a sophomore mm -hmm. that you got it. And yeah. what I mean by that, you played every play hard, Yeah. which I don't see that from a lot of big guys. Yeah. You know, I like to take a play or two off, recuperate. Yeah. But I, every play you went at it hard. Yeah. It's, it's, it's most of the feeling that, you know, you're not going to let anybody beat you. More like that mentality. You got to have the mentality when you're not there. And you don't want to, you know, look bad on a certain play because, you know, you got to watch it. And the next time you see film. Joseph, for someone that's 3'10", 305, mm -hmm. depending on the day, right? Yeah. 6'2". <laughs> um, did Ed Orgeron tell you you're athletic enough to play DN? Uh, DN. I haven't heard it yet. But I know it's going to be a, um, a Russian technique, a, a three. Like Richard Lawrence? Yeah, yeah. Because you remind me of a quicker Richard. Yeah. I mean, for three-something, you are you move like you're about two, 210, 215. Yeah. Huge compliment, man. The last yeah, guy I've you. seen move like you was Glenn Dorsey. And then when uh, Tyler Shelvin was a junior at Northside, mm. who's now yeah. going to be on the D-line with you uh, as the nose technique. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was was Ed excited when you committed? Yes, yes, he was super excited. He th I think he committed for me. <laughs> he had to. <laughs> Your dad's here, and he's agreeing with you on that. Yeah. But, um, you know, he's a D-line mentality coach. He, yeah. he loves the D-line. And what's it like signing with a coach? That's his background. Um, Being the head coach. Yeah, yeah, working. I, um, the reason that, that – that's another reason that I actually went there because I – I feel like he would he would push me more because he he know more about my position and he can help me better to better myself. We've got some highlights, Joseph, and mm -hmm. I know it might be a little you might be shy about it, but I will let you talk <laughs> through the games and the opponents. But we're going to bring up your highlights. Um, but this is you. I mean, Haynesville. This is you on defense. You're in the black and the gold, but oh, yeah. uh, you're man in this D line. I mean, you're just taking over. <laughs> These guys are looking at you like, we don't want any part of this guy. I mean, yeah, you're straight sweat. in the center. I mean, you're, you're outside, you're active. Yeah. And what I mean, you got quick feet. You're making tackles sideline to sideline. And, and here's some more. <laughs> this is, I think, uh, back on. Is Green this Oaks. One? Yeah, Green Oaks of Shreveport. Yeah. You just took this guy out, and he's about 210. I, I know that running back. Yeah. He's a good senior. He's about 5'9", 210, all world. You just, <laughs> it's, it's, just like when you, it's like when you, when you hit someone, uh -huh. the great ones just, there's no mistake that he's going down. There's no struggle. Mm -hmm. Like, you just form right, <laughs> boom, you're down. Yeah. Like glue. Yeah. Have you always been that good of a tackler at a young age of well, being able to read and just? Ever since Pee Wee. You know, I've been playing since Pee Wee, so it's, it's, it's been wired into me, basically. But they always say the hands. <laughs> yeah. You've got Glenn Dorsey hands to where you can I always notice you grab those running backs. Yeah. When they would go left, you would grab them and bring them down with just your hand. Yeah, because one lady came to the game, and she uh, took a picture of her and her leg. She said, oh, my gosh, your hands are so huge. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm known for my And name. I know that's what Ed goes, man, yeah. look at that. He tackled, he tackled, he in. <laughs> Yeah. Um, O-line, you did it for the team. Mm -hmm. uh, legendary David Franklin, Coach Franklin, the Red Franklin, his daddy still helps yeah. out, I know. Yeah. What's it like playing for one of the great programs in the state? It's, it, it feels great. You know, the tradition there is great, and it's just all around the, the fans, you know, always come support no matter where where you at, they always there. What, what's just, your goals at LSU? What would you like to see happen with your class? Man, to win it all. 
because I know we got some hard hitters. We got some hard hitters. We got the people that will actually work, you know, to make the program better. And I think that's what it's all about. So you're not you're not nervous about coming in. You ready? You're ready. I'm to ready. Come in. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I am i can not wait to be one of the greats. You just fired up yes. half of Baton Rouge, I yes. think. <laughs> Michael, what do you think of this guy, man? I mean, this kid's huge. I love it. I love it. <laughs> can't wait to see him play. Michael's like, do you have any cousins that play baseball? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They run four four. Yeah. Um. And then you have a junior lineman, mm -hmm. Cameron, who's Cam got a lot of talent. Six six two eighty. Yeah. Yeah, there's still a little cousin, though, even though he's taller than he's me. He's still, still not like, there yet. Yeah. He's not where you are, but he will be. Yeah, yeah, he will. That's your cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. It's scary that y'all might be side by side playing one day. <laughs> yeah. So you get on him, you keep him oh, yeah. right, you, yeah. you try to show him the mm -hmm. how to get there. Yeah, I always tell him to come work out with me, you know, just get a little bit of work in for for this this upcoming season. It's not every day you see a kid 300 pounds, 6'2", with almost 400 career tackles. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. What What do you like most about football, Joe? What do you like most about the game? The feeling of winning, I think, and and the excitement and the the play after play, you know, just making plays and you know, it's just a good feeling, good feeling all around. I like the sport. We got a surprise for you, and then we're gonna have more with Micah Gibbs next segment. One of your teammates in the mm -hmm. class, Thomas Perry, is calling in from Tarleton's Catholic. All right. They'll be able to talk about. Going against each other in yeah. practice. O, o line. He's six seven, three fifteen. You're six two, three oh five. Y'all yeah. talk about the future. And we got Micah Gibbs of LSU. We'll talk more baseball when we come back. <laughs> 